Good morning, everybody. This is Charlie, November Juliet, 7 Victor. Welcome back, everybody. Today I am at the base of uh, Wishbone Mountain in the White Mountains of Arizona. And I have a few things I wanted to accomplish today. Uh, first and foremost, I haven't activated this peak yet. And so I'm always in the pursuit of unique activations or activations I haven't done before for a couple of reasons. One is it uh, increases my count of unique activations and I have a goal to get 250 activations that are unique at some point. Uh, also, I've already chased this summit, so uh, when I activate it, it will be a complete. In the SODA database, there is a tally or a record of the number of peaks that you've chased and activated both, and it's called a SODA complete. So I'm, I'm uh, working on trying to bring that number up. And let's see, also it's a uh, POTA, Parks on the Air, SODA, Summits on the Air activation, doing both. It's a dual, uh, it's Sitgraves National Forest as the park. Uh, I wanted to do one more. Uh, parks on the air activation in conjunction with soda before I go out and do uh, just a uh, on my own uh, Parks on the air activation. I've, I've attempted a couple others and mixed results there So this will be my last one uh, that I I do before I go ahead and, and get out there and do a parks on the air activation only That'll be coming up here pretty shortly uh, Probably in the next week two maybe uh, I'll get it done and then maybe another to edit so look for that so let's go ahead and get going here. When I get on top, I think I'll talk a little bit about my antenna that I use and how I use it. So stay tuned. I just love it up here in the White Mountains. Very dense forest. Just beautiful. Well, I guess a forest fire came through here. You might be able to make out the uh, ruts that have uh, just kind of been put in the side of the mountain as water's just flowed right down the side. And look at all the dead pines you can see. And they're charred too. Evidence of a fire all over the place, so it's sad. Some of them aren't human caused, but Many of them are. More of the same. Just dead. There's a few alive over there, but mostly dead. See, here's a good example of a tree that pretty much burned completely up. All these holes that you can see are where the roots system was. And uh, so, a little bit of tree left right there, but it was completely burned. The smells in here are so amazing. It smells like Christmas. Really piney and sappy. But then every, every once in a while I get a whiff of campfire, which is really forest fire. Back there I smelt some, uh, I thought it was a skunk, but it's, I know it's a weed. The smell's just like a skunk. So just the smells here, it's just, amazing how you know sometimes you don't notice stuff like that but it's i'm very aware of it right now well here's the top it's uh somewhat of a disappointment all burnt out nothing but twigs sticking up i guess the good news is is that there's no undergrowth to fight when i need to go set up my links Assemble or disassemble, but I'm actually gonna go see over here. Maybe It's better over here. I doubt it, but I can see at least some green over here I get to go down at least 80 feet from the high point and I may This isn't too bad in here, but We'll see over here on this side. Maybe it's better. Here's a peak registry I very rarely uh, fill out the log in the peak registry. Occasionally, but usually not. Well, I didn't find any place down over there that I like. 
I came back up here to the top. Here's something I can probably use. It's a burnt out stump. I'm hesitant to use it because it's gonna get everything all black and charred, but it is sturdy and uh, it's something I can use. And uh, so, you know, uh, I can string a line over this way, over this tree and kind of back in that direction. And then kind of maybe somewhere over here and get it up. So I'm gonna give that a try. We'll see how it goes. Uh, be right back with the uh, with the antenna stuff. So I have here my antenna bag and it's pretty big. And if you look at my antenna, it's pretty big too. Um, this is was made a long time ago and it is pretty bulky. It's made, I don't know, the wire's larger and I've got uh, uh, some, some uh, just some old uh, clipboard that I use. I will say that it's uh, lasted a long time and been very helpful, very uh, uh, good to use. So right there is how I constructed it. I, I just ran a, uh, a what is it, a coax uh, 174 up through here and then out these two poles and then I soldered the inner core to one end and the uh, sleeve or outer sleeve to the other end. and no uh, choke or anything in there so that's one leg here's another leg and then here's the coax and uh, so like i said it's big bulky but i've used it for years and it's held up so uh, i have all the materials to make a new one that'll be smaller uh, it's also bulkier than i expected maybe because it's uh, 60 meters which adds a, quite a bit of little extra wire to this but i'm going to hoist this up and then i'll talk about how i uh how I uh, use this antenna and why I use it. So more often than not, this is how I set up my antenna mast. I'll just lash it to something that's sturdy, like a bush with these gear ties. The reason I use a link dipole as opposed to something else is primarily because right now I don't have any of my radios that have a built-in tuner. I don't wanna buy a tuner and I don't wanna pack one anyway. So. I'm left with using antennas that are resonant and uh, so I tune my antenna to a specific frequency and so for example for 20 meters I tune it to 14.060 which is pretty much where I'm always at for CW and then uh, when you turn it, tune it really tight or really close then you're, you have some flexibility to move off of that, uh, that spot and still have a, a pretty good SWR. So. Um, that's kind of why I, I stick with it as well as the fact that uh, uh, Link Dipole is, is pretty much one of your most efficient antennas you can have. Um, so what it, how it works then is I have here, let me show you the mast here. It goes, this is the uh, feed line. Feed line goes up to the top and then uh, it extends either direction. I'll just take one direction here and show you uh, what I have. When we're ready to go to 40, we go ahead and unlink this. I might have to hang this here on this branch while I do it. So, yeah, undo this one. Um, so now we're at 40 meters on this leg, but we gotta go do the other leg as well. So I'll walk around all my mess right there. A little bit more time consuming. A little bit more effort, but I don't mind. It's fine. Okay, just wanted to show you something else here too. I am going to be using this paddle here. I'm going to be doing a review on it here pretty quick. So uh, that'll be coming up soon, but uh, just uh, a new paddle for me. So let's get going here. All right, so we've got the link set up now. And I'm going to start calling CQ on, on uh, what is it? 14.06, no, I'm not. Not 14.063. 7033 if nobody if nobody's on there and it doesn't sound like there is lock that in place then I'll go ahead and send out a spot let's see if we can do this now
I think that's it on uh, 40 so let's go switch the uh, links over to the next one 10 1 1 1 10 dot 1 1 1 was Kyle. The one before it was Chris. Last band, we're going to 20 now. I've packed up and I am ready to get out of here. I appreciate you guys uh, uh, chasing me for this Summits on the Air, Parks on the Air activation. Uh, several people I know uh, were chasing me. Uh, there was uh, Jose that uh, is a regular 
Um, I can't ever remember his call sign. It's uh, HZN or something like that. But uh, Jose, I appreciate it. Uh, Doug, N1HNH, and Chris, N1CLC, and Kyle, Alpha Alpha Zero Z, a bunch of others. I, I, there, I just, you know, too many to name. It was very uh, nice to, to have all of you chasers uh, in the log. Appreciate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and wrap this up. Call it good. I hope that the uh, information I, called, I uh, met, shared with you on the antennas was helpful. Um, I appreciate you guys coming back on a regular basis and hope you continue to do so. I'll have other things for you. I, I, that uh, that uh, key that I used, I ran into some problems. I'll have a review on that on the uh, series coming up. And so with that, I'll say 73 to you guys and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Adios.